the light on. Yeah. Hey, everybody. How are you doing today? I'm doing really good. It is a beautiful day in my neighborhood today. <laughs> I've been singing that uh, Mr. Rogers song. It's a beautiful day in your neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's beautiful here in Arizona. Nice and rainy, thundering. It was just raining a minute ago, but uh, yeah, the clouds are clearing out and here comes the sun. So, I guess I'll be singing Here Comes the Sun next. Here comes the sun, little darling. All right, yeah, I'm in a good mood love waking up on Saturday mornings. This is leftover espresso craft uh, smart. Not much in there, but some. So let me keep that in there just in case I forget. Then we have the metallic artist loft from last night, coconut Friday. I did save it because I didn't have it in me to throw this out so this has got a little bit of silicone I got coconut oil in it might as well use it up uh, let's see then I have this brown from the other day no silicone so the espresso does not have silicone that's the leftover brown craft smart does not have silicone Then this was the nutmeg brown, which has some silicone from yesterday. And then I just now made up this gold. This is Artist Loft Flow. Really beautiful. No silicone. So I don't want to put that in there. And then I have this leftover from the other day. No silicone. Red oxide. Artist Loft. So I'm still working with the brown, sort of. But I'm going to throw in that red oxide because that looks cool. I think these look good together. So we've got two only with silicone. And that's this brown nutmeg and the white. I don't know how this is going to turn out with just one you know yeah I'd rather not use any but I'm going to and I still have this territorial beige from the other day last night with coconut in it and then this top pay but I'm not gonna put those in that's it and this is a nine by wait a minute this is 11 by 14. Oh my goodness. How can I forget that quick? Yeah, 11 by 14, 5 ounces. Right? Yeah. 5 ounces we need for an 11 by 14. And I went ahead and tightened up. And I've got my little stickies. I'm ready to go. I have my cup of coffee. The stuff. The red oxide is the liquid basics. Liquid text basics. Everything else, yeah. Espresso, craft smart, craft smart. What was this brown? Nutmeg brown was that? I think that might have been apple barrel, but I threw the bottle out. Oh no, here it is. Uh, well, I'm confusing myself. Cocoa bean, that was, oh, I should put that in there. 
No, not the Spanish towel because I'm using the red oxide. Cocoa bean? No, I got the espresso. So we're just going to leave it alone. I need to mark those bottles because those two have silicone in it. All right, I'm babbling on. So here we go. So I don't know how this can work out. The only thing that might sell up is this nutmeg brown. And maybe the white might do some lacing. That metallic white. Because everything else does not have silicone, so just this one. <laughs> I've never did, uh, did a pour with just one silicone. All right, so I need the cup brown. Let me keep these here that way I don't forget what they are. This is that espresso. Brown, regular brown. You know what? Maybe I'll keep this one out. Because we have the nutmeg brown. I don't want too much brown. And hopefully this, this is not a lot. So maybe I will use a little bit of this cocoa bean from last night. Oh, I'm not prepared today, am I? Let me check my consistency real quick in this. Because I know it has flow trial and this is from last night because I wrote flow. Yeah, I think I will have to skip that espresso and use this cocoa bean because that's not enough or I could use it anyway. Yeah, this looks fine. So, okay, we'll just combine these. Let's do that. So this is going to be espresso and cocoa bean mixed together. No silicone. Oh, wait, the cocoa bean had a little bit in it from last night. Well, I'm all confused now. See, I don't like that. That's why I have to make sure. Mark them. So, yeah, I guess the cocoa bean was from yesterday. And it might have a little bit of silicone in it. So Okay, so now the only thing that has silicone is the cocoa bean. And this is espresso mixed together. Same colors almost. A little bit of silicone from yet leftover cocoa bean yesterday. And then this nutmeg brown. Alright, here we go. Oh, and I'm using black with no silicone. Um, better stir up this white too. Metallic Artisloff white. Well, we need five ounces, so that's about right up here this line right here. I'm going to go with this red oxide. Hope that wasn't too much. That might have been. Well, we'll just take what we get here. Then I'll go with the gold. Quite a bit, maybe not too much, huh? Ooh. Espresso and cocoa bean. And the, the nutmeg brown. Okay, that's it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there's definitely some silicone in there. 
in that uh, that mig and the cocoa bean. Got that white, so I'm gonna make sure and center that. And hopefully that's good. All right. Still, I'm gonna have leftover nutmeg and the cocoa bean. Oh well. No big deal. I just have to mark these because sometimes I'll forget when I'm ready to clean them. Which ones were, well, I can usually tell by the looks of them, if it had silicone in it, or coconut oil, dimethicon. And all these are filled with the two parts flow trowel, that's for sure, and one part paint. And enough water to bring them all to a, the same warm honey consistency. This might, hopefully, this is gonna look good. Hope so. I have a feeling my air conditioner is going to click on in a minute, so I do apologize for that. It is a little humid. Back to the middle. Because that might white hopefully looks good in there. Pretty with the gold. Kind of wish I would have done that one yesterday with gold. It's all good though. Because that one's beautiful. Get back to the middle. Yeah, there it comes. y'all having a really good day a nice sunny or not sunny but a beautiful Saturday I meant okay bring it back to the middle Let's see what we got here what we have okay that's not too bad Hmm. White's kind of weird in the middle, but I guess it's pretty cool. Kind of stretched a lot of the cells, so the 
not all of it has silicone in it either, so it's going to be kind of weird. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, it's pretty. Stretchy cells. I use a lot of paint in this one. I did it exactly right on, obviously. Touching up some of the bald spots. That's why I hate silicone or coconut stuff in the way. Because you can see, if you don't put a base coat on, you get those little bald spots on your canvas. <clears throat> That's all good, too. It's pretty. I'm not all hyped over it, though. Not crazy in love. <laughs> um, wish that was black, to be honest with you. Black hardly showed up. But it's all good. Yeah, it's okay. I want your guys' opinions. This one with the gold in it. And that white down the middle. Let me know what you think about this picture, if it looks good. Okay? Please. Because I need opinions, because I don't... I'm not happy sometimes until I hear somebody else say what it is. And you know what? If you don't like it, say, I don't like the design, but the colors are beautiful. That's all good. Because, to be honest with you, well, now that I look at it, it is kind of neat. With the white coming down in there, and then here's the little swirls of the gold. We got that red oxide. Yeah, that's pretty. So that's it. It's not bad. I didn't uh, torch it, did I? Let's see what happens here. I probably ain't gonna do much. It's got lots of pretty design in it. Now white down the middle makes it look kind of cool in a way. Yeah, it's growing on me. Cool. Hold it up one more time. I'll go down the middle this time. Never know where a, this is not as celled up either as yesterday's one because this one don't have all the, the coconut, which is good. And I'll tell you what, you can sure see the metallic in here. Um, uh, someone had told me, I think it was Martha D, had told me that all the metallics, I mean all the gold, silvers from Artist Lock are metallic, even if it doesn't say metallic, that it has metallic in it. Um, I tend to believe her because 
Look at that gold has such a shimmer and I don't know if you can see the shimmer. But you can sort of see the metallic in all the gold and the silver. Even if it doesn't say it, I think it does. It's made with metallic. That's why. That's what she meant. Is that what gives it that gold? Else it wouldn't be gold. Or bronze or silver. If that makes any sense. So yeah. This does not say metallic on it but it sure looks it you look at the bottle that looks metallic but it says just flow acrylic gold oh wait a minute it does say metallic gold oh my gosh I feel really dumb oh well okay that answers it hmm now let me see. I have a silver up here of the Artist Loft silver. It doesn't say metallic on it though. But it does say coated mica. So I think that mica is a substance of metallic. That's how it brings it to that shine. Could be that's what she means. All right, guys. I hope you have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this pour and you like it. Let me know. Press like and subscribe if you want to. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, and I hope you have a really good day or evening, whatever it might be for you. Have a good one. That's what's important, okay? Feel good about life. Enjoy life. And enjoy yourself and your company. Alright, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go. That is a nice looking set. Very pretty. So there's our middle one. I noticed there's lots of little things in there too, like those characters in a way. So here's our five by seven for the side we just did. Hey, look at that little face popped up. <laughs> He's even got a nose and a mouth. That's why I like these, because you can just see so many, and then there's the little eyeballs just everywhere. That... Look at that fish. The little fish in there. Sure looks like one to me. Let's see if we can find anything else. I'm sure there is if we turned it around. <laughs> okay, and then here's the other one up close. Oh, look at that face right there looking at us. <laughs> in his mouth, two eyes in the mouth. Look at this one over here. Oh my gosh, it looks like a ghost or something right there. Ooh, that's intense looking. Ah, look at right next to it. It looks like a duck face or a bird face. Like there's the ghost one looking. So right next to it, like a beak on this guy. <laughs> oh, that's it. There's another funny looking thing peeking up there with swirly head. All right. All right. So I like this set. Really nice. I'm sure someone will really like this someday. All right, thank you guys once again for watching. I just want to add this to that back of that video instead of making a two-parter. Okay, have a good one. I will talk to you later. Bye.